two single serve espresso machines from Nespresso sit in front of me and the differences between them might surprise you. We're going to talk about that today here on aromacup.com. The Anisia has no power button. You simply press one of your brew buttons to turn the machine on and get it ready for brewing. Uh, and the other big... Hey, all right. <laughs> Let's do that again. One more time with feeling. <clears throat> Hi everyone, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. Thanks as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. As I said in the intro to this video, I have two single serve Nespresso espresso machines sitting in front of me today. The brand new Nespresso Inicia single serve espresso machine and the classic Nespresso Pixie single serve espresso machine. I talked about the Pixie a lot here on aromacup.com. You can check out all of our videos on this machine. It's been with us for quite some time. The Anisia is brand new, but these two machines, when set side by side, you notice they look pretty similar. So we want to give you a little side by side comparison today here on aromacup.com. And first of all, let's talk about similarities. What's similar on these two machines? Well, first of all, you can tell they look pretty much the same. The Pixie has sort of the more classic styling that Nespresso was uh, using with their machines a few years ago. These sort of riveted sides, it's a little more almost industrial looking. Whereas the uh, Anisia is very kind of smooth, but they're very much the same in their overall size, especially. They both take up about the same amount of space on a countertop. They both have 24 ounce water tanks. They both use Grand Cru capsules for brewing espresso. And they both have two operation buttons, one for espresso, one for Lungo. Pretty straightforward on their operation. Both of them have adjustable drip trays with fold-up trays for using larger mugs, tumblers, and etc. And both of them have removable trays, which when removed will allow you to empty the spent capsules uh, that you have, of course, used as you've brewed your espresso. Both of them will hold up to about 10 spent capsules. Uh, and both of them, of course, are going to brew a pretty darn good shot of espresso. So those are some similarities. Let's talk about a few differences between these two machines. The differences between these two machines are not many. The big difference that I have noticed is, first of all, the styling. Uh, as I mentioned, the Pixie is a little more sort of industrial looking. It's got this riveted side and, uh, you know, it's very, very, as I say, industrial black, silver, gunmetal, things like that. Whereas the Anisia is more stylized and smooth. It has the, you know, pretty red color. That, that has been showing up in more and more of the Nespresso mach machines recently. And the other big difference is that the Pixie has a power button on the back of it, whereas the Anisia has no power button. You simply press one of your brew buttons to turn the machine on. That'll turn the machine on and get it ready for brewing. So those are pretty much the only major differences with these machines, except for one very large difference, and that's the price difference between these two. Here's the surprising difference when it comes to pricing between these two machines. The Pixie is still retailing at about $229, whereas the Anisia comes in at only $99. That's a pretty big difference. Um, very budget-friendly machine, the Anisia. The Pixie, uh, maybe not budget-friendly, and uh, really because of the fact that there's so very little difference between these two machines, you're not really, I think, choosing just about anything except for how you want your machine to look because you're not going to lose functionality when you go with either one of these machines. So it just depends on how much money you want to spend on a single serve espresso machine. And if you want to find out where you can purchase these machines, of course, check out the link in the description of our video. We'll point you in the right direction here at aromacup.com. And my bottom line when I'm comparing the Nespresso Anisia versus the Pixie, there's really no difference except for price. Price is the absolute biggest difference. The Anisia is much more budget friendly than the Pixie. And uh, that's kind of funny considering that the Pixie has been around for quite some time. The Anisia is brand new, but the Anisia I think is meant to sort of usher in more of a budget friendly era of Nespresso machines. So if I was going to pick one, I'd probably go with the Anisia because again, it's got a great price, not going to break the bank, and it's going to offer the same functions and features that you get with the Pixie but with a very uh, large uh, budget difference right there. So there you go, guys. That's the Nespresso Anisia versus the Nespresso Pixie single serve espresso machines. Hope you found this useful, but of course, if I've missed anything or if you have other questions, please feel free to leave them here in the description of this video. 
or visit us on aromacup.com. As always, guys, I'm Brian with aromacup.com. I want to thank you for joining me in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Enjoy your cup, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Do you want to know the difference between two Amazon bestseller single-serve espresso options to use in your own at-home coffee shop? We're going to show you the difference between those two today here on aromacup.com.